For EasyMikeSapps.com with an election results, iPad, iPhone, and Android app video review. We're going to look at five free apps that work on both the iOS and Android OS platform to help you find out who the winners are of the 2012 U.S. elections. The first app is the Pulse News app. Now this is for the iPad, but it also works on the iPhone and Android as do the rest of the apps. I'm going to create my own page and add just election resources. I can go right from suggested sources by Pulse News or I can search in the queue and you can see the results and you can add whoever you want. Go through Washington Post, CNN, MSNBC, NBC, doesn't matter, Huffington Post, whatever it is, your choice. I created page four as my own election resource page. Now when you're done, you'll go out and view it Pulse News style, which is horizontal lines for each source or outlet. And then when you go into one of them, such as Fox News Politics, you can access the web. The web keeps you inside the app, so you're going to use the browser inside the app. Go to the Washington Post. What I really want to see is the states as they turn red and blue so I know who's winning and who's losing. A cool thing is, again, you're going to stay inside the Pulse News app. Now we're going to go into Flipboard. Now this is a little bit of a different feel. Flipboard is cool. It shows you all of your sources as an icon or a picture, an image, and you flip your way through them. Again, it features a nice in-app browser in this case. We're going to go into CNN, tap on the politics section, and then there you are. Very easy. You stay inside the app, and again, you can have a variety of sources. Cool thing is when you add sources in Flipboard, you can see Twitter, RSS, Facebook, Flickr, Tumblr. They have all sorts of social media type outlets for the different things you're searching for. So maybe you want the CBS Twitter feed. You can get it. In this case, we can actually access the CBS News website from within the app. Now heading into the Fox News app. Now this again is for the iPad, but it does exist for the iPhone and Android. They're not as good on iPhone and Android. For the iPad, it has a nice election center. Again, breaking it down into red and blue. Very easy things for me to see what I want. Also, they have a Senate and House and gubernatorial races, which is also very interesting and stuff I want to know about. That's free. CNN for iPad. Again, here you go. You get what you get. You go in and you can see all the information, Mitt and Obama pointing at each other, and then here are the results, and that they have as well by Senate, House, and Governor, as well as President. You can also scroll down and see the key battleground states and how it is going there for the votes. Very interesting and very key to this election. Now, the next app we're going into is the Washington Post. This app doesn't have as much breaking news or that great of a format for me, and I did have to register with an email to get started. But what it does have is a slideshow and photos. I kind of like that. It gives you Election Day 2012 so you can see what's going on, and they do have breaking news. They do have some of that. Now, this is an app that wasn't included in my intro, Washington Post Politics. This is probably the best app. It's only for the iPad, so sorry iPhone and Android users. This app is awesome. It has a bunch of information down to real detailed stuff in the national polls and data section. Polling projections, you can see there on the left Obama, on the right Romney. You have all sorts of navigation on the bottom. This is free, doesn't cost a penny. And then look at all this stuff, fact checker, videos, all sorts of blogs for different people who are in the know. They're going to give you their two cents on the election. Again, these are five free apps, Pulse News, Flipboard, Fox News, CNN, Washington Post, and Washington Post Politics. So actually six apps, and they are optimized for the iPad, but they do work on the iPhone and Android. Until next time, Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps, saying see ya.